Celtic dropped league points on four occasions following Champions League matches last season, but they responded to the midweek defeat to AC Milan with a victory over St Johnson. Finnish striker Timo Pukki marked his first start with a goal after 11 minutes to make it two goals in two league matches since his deadline day move from Schalke. Charlie Mulgrew has impressed for club and country lately in a defensive midfield role and he got Celtic second 15 minutes later with his second goal of the campaign. Dave Mackay scored here in a 1-0 victory two years ago and he turned provider as St Johnson pulled a goal back with nine minutes left to play. Mackay's cross was bundled in by substitute Liam Caddis, who scored his first goal for the club. Despite dominating, Celtic failed to kill the game off and were almost punished. Gary McDonald's header was flicked on by Stevie May, only for the striker to be denied by the post. Fraser Forster then saved from Mackay as Celtic held on to move level with Inverness at the top of the Premiership. Terry Butcher's side suffered their first defeat of the season, falling to a single goal at Pataudry. Scott Vernon had only scored two goals in 2013, but the English substitute had only been on the park for four minutes when he volleyed in the winner with nine minutes left. Inverness remained top on goal difference from Celtic, with Aberdeen three points behind in third. After losing their first four games of the season, Hibernian have now gone five games without defeat. James Collins registered his first goal for the club last week against St Johnson, and the £200,000 signing from Swindon got his second after 10 minutes nodding in from Michael Nelson's header. The new strike partnership of Collins and Paul Heffernan is starting to find form. On the hour mark, fullback Alan Mabry overlapped before providing Heffernan with his second goal since moving from Kilmarnock. St Mirren have only won one league match since claiming the Scottish Community's League Cup back in March and their frustration showed as Danny Granger, who had already been booked for dissent, received his second yellow card for ungentlemanly conduct. It was St Mirren's fifth straight defeat. Partick Thistle's venture back into the Premiership has started well with just two defeats in the opening seven matches and they were awarded a penalty after 11 minutes against Kilmarnock as Manuel Pascali was penalised for a high boot on Stephen Wallace. Central defender Aaron Muirhead sent Craig Sampson the wrong way to score his third spot kick of the season. Kilmarnock were on a run of four straight defeats in all competitions, but scored the equaliser three minutes into the second half as Sean Closey's cross was headed in by Chris Boyd. The striker scored the last time the teams met nine years ago. Parks are still playing catch-up due to their 15-point penalty for going into administration, but took the lead in Dingwall's 18-year-old striker Callum Patterson turned in Kevin McHattie's cross as Ross County conceded their 14th goal in seven games. They left it late, but Ross County's comeback was spectacular. In the 89th minute, Richard Britton crossed for the towering substitute Melvin DeLeo to head in his first goal for the club. And County weren't finished there. Deep into stoppage time, it was a role reversal as DeLeo centred for Britain, who rose above McHattie to claim a dramatic three points for Derek Adams' side.